we got some dope news coming right up. What is going on everybody? How are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, you already know, give it a like, big thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. We have some dope, dope gaming news for you guys right now. The first one, pretty big. And it continues to spark interest in an upcoming PlayStation event. This is coming from comicbook.com. The title is Bloodborne Remaster is rumored to be revealed at an upcoming PlayStation event. Their source is Tim Rogers, a former game developer that has been suggesting that a Bloodborne Remastered is right around the corner, or rather an announcement for Bloodborne Remastered. Now, Bloodborne, one of those PlayStation 4 games I never played, and I do, after beating Demon Souls, I do want to go back and play this game, but right now in this current state, the game is at 30 frames per second, I want this game to be at 60 minimum, 60, 60 is a minimum right now, bro, 60 frames per second, and there may be some resolutions like graphical upgrades in this remaster, so keep your eyes peeled, all signs are saying that there's going to be a PlayStation event at the beginning of July, if there is, would be lit, if there's not, I still got games to play, and so stay tuned, stay tuned, should be dope, but the big Sony game leaks keep on coming, this one for a new PlayStation 5 Silent Hill game, now, rumors have been heating up all week long on Twitter, but this is coming from Forbes, and Forbes is citing the official Konami shop with a tweet that says coming soon and in it is Silent Hill, a logo for Silent Hill sparking fans to say that a renewing or reboot of the franchise, a new game is imminent. Now, this could be either way. Of course, this is coming from the Konami shop, so they could just be randomly promoting Silent Hill merch. But there have been so many rumors about a new Silent Hill game. This could very well coincide with um, something that Sony will announce at their next PlayStation event, PlayStation Experience. But I have to admit, I never played a Silent Hill game. Game really not on my radar. A remake that I really would want is a remake of the classic Metal Gear Solid game. That would be dope. So, um, Konami teasing Silent Hill, new Silent Hill game. Who knows what will happen, but we'll just have to wait and see. Bro, this next article, this next news item I found very interesting, and I get it. This is coming from GameRant.com. Listen to what it says. It says, Demon Souls on PS5 may have hurt Elden Ring's appeal. What you see right here is Demon Souls running on the PlayStation 5. Game looks phenomenal, bro. I beat this. This is one of the first games I beat on my PlayStation 5. They said it couldn't be done, but I had to let the dudes know that we beat them games. So... What they're saying is, when Elden Ring was revealed, and that was one of the first things I said when the game was revealed, I was like, uh, you could tell this is a cross-gen game. That there, there are some areas where it looks good, and there's some areas where it just looks 
like a like an older game and i've been saying this man sony with the playstation 5 and their first party game spider-man miles morales even sack boy the quality and most noted recently ratchet and clank and returnal how these games are pushing gaming forward as far as graphical fidelity the dual sense all the things that they're doing my expectations have been increased when it comes to new games especially for my playstation 5 that's why everybody and their mama was hyped for metroid dread and i was like man i just finished platinuming returnal and this was an amazing 3D Metroid game on the PlayStation 5. And I had to think about this. This game has been like 19 years in the making. And based on what we saw, I was like, really? This is 19 years worth of hype? It wasn't anything too impressive, bro. It, it wasn't. I don't see anything about the game that stood out. The only reason why dudes are hyped is because it has a Metroid title behind it. That's it. Maybe that's enough for some, but like Mario Odyssey. Mario Odyssey, I was hyped because it had Mario in it, but Mario Odyssey looked amazing. Zelda Breath of the Wild. I was hyped when that first was announced in 2017 because it was a Zelda game, but the game looked amazing and so you have to have the ip and you still have to have an amazing game for me and so just the name alone i can't get hyped off of metro dread i'm still gonna get the game even though i said it's not worth 60 dollars, i'm still gonna spend 60 dollars on this game i'm part of the problem but uh my expectations um have increased bro a platinum returnal phenomenal 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 game and i meant to talk about this last week but i was doing other stuff talking about other things but playstation 5 is getting a beta program to test new features S xbox has already been doing this before a new um, system updates drop if you're in this beta program you can test out this um, software and this um, up these updates ahead of time before the general population. There's good and bad sides to it. Good is you get to check out the new features before everyone else. Bad is you could probably brick your system, blow up your system, catch your system on fire, and <laughs> you're the your your PS5 becomes a guinea pig for PlayStation. So either way, I did end up signing up for it. Um, just to see if I can get features and stuff um, early. And one more dope news item, PlayStation 5. Bro, if you bought a PlayStation 5 digital, if you ordered a PlayStation 5 digital edition on June 17th, check your emails from Walmart. If you got it from Walmart, Walmart is giving out free upgrades from the digital to the physical, a $100 value because they ran out of stock of the digital versions of the PlayStation 5s. And so if you ordered a $400 digital PS5, you could get a free upgrade to a $500 physical PS5 version. I have two physicals. I wanted to get one digital and one physical, but the digitals were all out of stock. It is what it is, bro. All right, dudes, those are all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out of here, man.